Hey everyone, uh, Brendan from Oktoberfesthouse.com and BeerBootHouse.com. Uh, I'm just going to show you our 2 liter machine press boot. Uh, this boot we modeled off of the traditional German uh, mouth blown boot, which has got the pointed toe uh, a little bit longer top to bottom than some of the other machine pressed ones. Uh, the big difference between our machine pressed boot and the mouth blown boots is in the durability. Uh, as you can see, this has got a very solid sole particularly in the heel, so putting it down on hardwood tables does not pose a problem. Obviously, if you smash it down, you're going to have a broken boot, but with the mouth blown boots, it's very fragile. Even tapping it like this could result in a broken heel. Uh, this is actually even thicker than all of the other machine press boots available on the market. Uh, we designed this ourselves, so you're not going to find it on any other site. Um, it is made in China, another reason why it is much more inexpensive than all of the other mouth blown ones out there and you'll find that there are seams running down the front and back of the boot versus the mouth blown that have seams on either side meaning that if you want to custom engrave it for a groomsman gift um, we suggest doing it on either of the sides uh, we also do a lot of these customized for breweries bars uh, so on and so forth you can contact us for details uh, this is Das Boot, the one featured in the movie Beer Fest, the one that everyone has been raving about now for years. Uh, it holds quite a bit of fluid. I will show you now. We're going to just start pouring them in so you guys can see. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. We've got to let the foam settle for a bit. So, how do you drink out of the boot? This has been a long debated question. There are a couple of different strategies. One, when you're starting out, you're not going to notice it very much. You drink, flick, pass the boot to the person to the right of you. They flick, drink, flick, and pass it, so on and so forth. Once it starts to get down a little bit further, that's where you have to pay attention because of the toe. So you'll get to a point when drinking where the bubble that forms in the front of the toe pops and if you're not careful you will have a chest full of beer. So traditionalists say you always have to keep the, po the toe pointed forward. That way it makes it more challenging, makes it a little bit more interesting of a Das Boot game. Others say you've got to keep it to the side. That greatly reduces the chance of the air bubble popping in your face because it will really pop on the side. Here at Oktoberfesthouse.com and BeerBootHouse.com, we tend to suggest going toe forward. It makes for a more interesting game. We like to stay traditional with it. Now, I've got some foam here. I don't want to waste your time and keep pouring, but this will take another two beers. So you will have eight total beers in this two liter Das Boot. We don't recommend drinking it by yourself. Best to share among friends. There it is, in all of its glory, the two liter machine press beer boot from beerboothouse.com and oktoberfesthouse.com. Get yours today. Thank you.